Hey guys, before you watch this video, I've got some big, big news. So make sure to subscribe to Tic Tac Toy Family and Tic Tac Toy, because once we get two million subscribers on Tic Tac Toy Family and five million subscribers on Tic Tac Toy, then we're gonna do a huge meet and greet. And we'd love to see you there, so make sure you subscribe. Keep going, all the drawers empty. All of this was in my dresser. My goodness, Addie. Yep. Today we are tackling something that I have wanted to tackle for a really long time, and that is going through the girls' rooms from top to bottom, one end to the other end, through the dressers, the closets, the bathroom, and doing a major, major clean out and organization day. Every time I've walked the girls' room for the last six months, I like feel a panic attack inside of me because they are so messy and just cluttered and I just, I can't even take it. So I kept telling myself this summer, we're gonna take a full day and we're gonna do it. And before you knew it, this summer is like almost over. So I found a day this week to do it and I have to tell you, I have been trying to psych myself up for this day mentally all week long because I know it's gonna be a long day and it's gonna be an exhausting day and it might be a little bit painful, but we're gonna get these rooms cleaned. This is what was in my dresser. Got it all emptied out, Maya? Yes. Every article of clothing. The first thing I wanted to do was have the girls go through all their clothes because we have quite a collection of things we've used for different videos, things we've used for various projects, and I'm sure a lot of this they've outgrown, doesn't fit them, maybe they're stained or dirty, we're done with them, so we're gonna go through these clothes and clear out and donate. Ooh, I just found this. Yeah, that you haven't worn in a long, long time. Because it's not for something. Okay, so Maya, we're gonna go through these and we're gonna purge. More than half of this we're gonna donate, you got it? More so than for example, that. you wore this on Halloween, but I don't think you've worn it since then. I think we can donate that. This mm -hmm. has a hole in it, so we can get rid of that. That's my thumb hole. <laughs> Your thumb I made hole? It in kindergarten with my mouth. I wear this all the time with my thumb hole. Oh that's Maya. So that's a keep? Yeah. Okay, if that's a keep, that's fine, but we have to find a lot more that we're willing to get rid of. This, we're gonna donate that. If these are old, we're gonna donate these. That in the donut pile. I know. They served you well. I forgot about this. This is so comfy. You can donate that. What this? You can donate it. <laughs> All right, Maya. I think you're putting more clothes on than we're getting rid of. <laughs> Let's go back to your room. Addy, you keep working, girl. Maya and I are heading back to her room to continue going through her pile of clothes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you taking some of Addie's pants? Yeah, I'm trying to them on. I think Maya's pile of clothes is growing more than it's shrinking, so I have to work extra hard over here while she continues to try on Addie's clothes that Addie's getting rid of. One of the reasons I decided to vlog this experience today is because I needed the accountability. I knew if I was just gonna do this on my own and I wasn't making a video, that there was a good chance I would just tire out and give up and I leave a giant mess in the room and it's there for a week. But now that I'm filming it, I know that I have to get this done. I have to get these rooms finished today so we can show you an end product and it's just gonna give me that extra motivation to get through this as quick as we can. I told Maya if you say no for me, yes. no to me for this one, yes. which we used in a celebrity like yes. toy cafe video. Oh, we did use that. I remember yes. that video. Yes. So can Maya have it? You want it, Maya? Dressy. Sure. Dressy, dressy, dressy. <laughs> oh, I like this dress for church. That is a pretty dress for church. Although I have to wear this because I got it from my basket. My, how many layers of clothes do you have on now? Pants, shirt, and dress. Okay. <laughs> Maya, I lost you. Back with me. Back with me. Take my hand. Back to your room, girl. No more clothes for you. You've got plenty. All right. Now you need to help me get all these dresses back on hangers. The good thing about having a big sister is you got a lot of hand-me-downs, didn't you, girl? Got this one. That's another one from Addie. Pretty. Now that we've got most of my clothes done, we have 
this is her closet, guys. And, oh, this is what we got to have to tackle soon. Not to mention we haven't even done the rest of her room yet. I can't bring myself to tackle the closet yet. That's just a little bit overwhelming. So we're gonna tackle Maya's loft bed, this desk area right now, because she's got a lot of stuff on it. Now, one question we get asked all the time, we get lots of emails about is, where do we get the girls' loft beds? A lot of people love them, they are a lot of fun. And then I'm telling you they're from Pottery Barn Team. We love them, absolutely. But the one thing I will say is that it has a lot of open storage for kids, like all these shelves. And open storage is fun, but it gets pretty messy looking with kids just piling stuff on there. So that's the only thing I would caution you about is the open storage is difficult. So you gotta get up and come help me, girl. <laughs> up, 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 up we go. <laughs> can tell Mai is not a big fan of cleaning out and organizing her room. A bracelet that got melted. Okay, yeah, rubber band well, we can definitely throw all that away then. Okay, but you have a jewelry box. So I want you to gather up all your like little pieces of jewelry that you have sitting around and let's store all those inside there, okay? Okay. This is the kind of stuff that starts to drive me crazy. We just have bins filled with Brain Quest, a yellow sock, a little mouse, some flashcards, all little just like sorts of stuff. And these things drive me crazy. <laughs> what is all this, Maya? I don't know. You don't know? Can we sort it out? Sure. Maya is a little bit of a pack rat. Are you a pack rat, Maya? I know what that means. You don't know what that means? It means you like to keep everything. I guess so. You guess so? We could, we could say she's sentimental. We'll say that instead of a cat, right? You're a very sentimental person. Every little thing has value to it. Here's my and we have a hard time parting with things. I've been looking for that. You've been looking for that? Well, you found it. Ah, my stickers. Here they are. I finally found them. Do you know what this is? Uh, no. What is this? I don't know. Yes, you do. <laughs> I want you to really think, my, for example, do we really need these little bracelets? Yep. Do we really need this little bag? All these little things, really think about what can we get rid of? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, I don't think so, girl. You gotta get rid of some of this stuff. This is where Maya and I are very different. As I said, Maya's very sentimental and she likes to keep everything and every little token of little tiny toy has some important meaning to her. And meanwhile, I'm the complete opposite. I am a purger. I'm just not very sentimental about objects and I'd much rather get rid of things, almost to a fault, um, to the point where I will just purge and get rid of stuff and then I'll end up needing it again and I'll have to go buy it again because I needed it when I shouldn't have purged in the first place. So I'm trying to be aware that we're different so I don't want to throw away things that are important to her, but at the same time, we need to clean up this room. Wait, wait, wait. Are you keeping yarns, like old pieces of yarn? Yeah. What is this? It's Rapunzel hair, see? Yeah, I tied Rapunzel's hair color string to this, and it's Rapunzel's hair. Ah, okay. It's jewelry. Okay, we'll keep it. to jewelry. All right, we'll keep it. I guess we're recycling and reusing. I'm gonna step out of Maya's room and go check on Addie real quickly. Addie, how's it coming, girl? You see a bug? Oh, there is a bug. Bug, 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 where? Buggy, buggy. <laughs> what is it? It's a mosquito looking bug in my bow. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, there's something in there. Mm. Yeah, is it even alive? I don't know, but whatever. See, this is our problem. This is probably sat in here, sat here so long that we have a dead bug in your hair bow. Bug is going bye bye. garbage bag in here you need a garbage bag too yep okay you've got one nope okay I'm gonna get you a garbage bag and I want garbage bag filled
How's your room coming? I see you found a ring pop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yummy. You have a blue mouth now, you know that? Yeah, I think in this drawer I'm gonna be like, put like um, craft supplies and my like journals and stuff. Your shelves over here are looking really good too, Ad. You've got those really cleared off. What are you doing in here? Back to your room. <laughs> Back to your room. <laughs> we have a wandering Maya. I've moved on to attempt to tackle Maya's closet. And honestly, this is the point where I'm feeling like what in the world did I get myself into? We are three hours into the cleaning process and there's just so much more to do, so much more to sort through. And I'm so tempted to just kind of pile everything in and walk away and be done with it. But I'm trying to motivate myself to keep with it and let's get this done and let's do it right. But let me tell you, it is hard right now because I am wanting to be done. I have this big storage shelf over here in my closet that we actually used when we did our toy makers studio. And I have all of our toys sorted by category. So we have like our OMG pets in here. We have a big container of wells. We have cloudies. So I'm doing my best to keep them organized, but still have them accessible for when friends come over and they want to dig into all these fun things. Yep, here's Yay. another thing. We used a bunch of stamps for an escape room video, but we don't need stamps, do we? We don't need all these stamps. Some can be used, like we got this. Stamps are the Oh, so for art projects? Yeah. Okay, well maybe we can save the stamps in our art bin downstairs. And does that work? Yay! All right, stamps go in the art bin. Gonna repurpose them. Apparently Colin has decided to join the cleaning action, which of course is super helpful. And that's just what we use with another four-year-old walking around the room making more messes as we clean up the messes. Are we gonna clean your room next? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh goodness. Colin's room actually isn't well nearly <laughs> as messy as the girls. <laughs> Your room's not as bad as it, buddy. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Colin, we just picked all this up, buddy. We gotta put it back now. Back up here. Come on, no. You're making a mess. We finally did it guys. It has been five and a half hours since we started cleaning the bedrooms and it's done. I'm gonna show you a quick tour of Maya's room and then Addie's gonna show you a tour of her room. I haven't even seen the finished product yet because she's been working so hard. Check out how clean Maya's room is right now. I don't think it's been this clean since we moved in probably. She's got all of her favorite things displayed here. And the part that I still can't believe is the closet. Guys, it isn't perfect, but it is about as close as to perfect as this closet could possibly get. She's got all of her clothes organized, books organized, some toys up here. It looks amazing. And I'm officially exhausted over that, but I am super excited to see Addie's room. So let's see. Welcome to my room. Wow, Addie. It looks so good. So, so clean. We got a lounge section over here now. And she moved her dresser over to this corner. Addie, this is looking pretty good. Yeah. What's your favorite thing you did in here? What, or what took the most time? Organizing the desk? Well, it looks pretty good, Addie. I'm proud of you, girl. Addie's dresser used to be right here, but she's moved it. And Addie, tell us what you're gonna do in this spot. Well, later on, I won't have this the beanbag chair there. And I'll put my gaming set there. That's right, for your gaming channel. What's your yes. new gaming channel, it's Carl? It's called XOXO Gaming. So you could just go scroll down to related channels, and XOXO Gaming will be there. Please subscribe. Addie has been dying to have a gaming channel and it's really all her. Like she's doing it, she's planning it. 
and I'm pretty impressed. She's doing a pretty good job. It just started, so make sure you subscribe to XOXO Gaming. And what type of gaming are you doing on it? Roblox Gaming. Your favorite, huh? Yes. Well, good job, Addy. We got it done. Yes. It took a long time, but we did it. Yeah. Does it feel good to have a clean room? Uh huh. It always feels so good. I know. All right, what are we going to tell our viewers? XOXO. Bye. Bye.